Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about the first assignment of the week, uh, M2 on IXL. It's about triangles and bisectors. This week is going to be dedicated to triangles. Uh, okay, let's see what to do when we have angle bisectors or just bisectors that cuts the sides in two equal pieces. For this question, uh, we have segment CD congruent to DE, segment CD and DE are congruent, and also EF is given 58 units long. Uh, EF is 58. Okay, my question is the length of CF. Uh, when I look at this triangle over here, it looks like I have a perpendicular bisector because when you have an isosceles triangle where you have two equal sides such as CD and DE if you have a perpendicular side that goes across uh, that's gonna cut that side into equal pieces if FE is equal to 58 if this right here is 58 that one here is going to be 58 as well everything is going to be like mirrored on the other side uh, assume this is a that one is going to be mirrored over here and it, that one is going to be a as well so everything on the left side of the triangle or on the upper side of the triangle is going to be equal to the other side so the answer to this one would be 58 Let's move on to the next level and see what type of question that one is going to be. I thought I hit this right here. Okay. So still, uh, what I see when I look at this question, uh, there is a I can use perpendicular bisector theorem because I have a perpendicular segment right here. US is perpendicular and it is perpendicular inside a, let me see an isosceles triangle these two sides are equal and then the whole triangle is divided by a perpendicular line that perpendicular line is called perpendicular bisector if you are dealing with an isosceles triangle we are dealing with an isosceles triangle because RS, the blue sides are equal, and then there's a green line that cuts the whole thing in two equal pieces. So RU is going to be 92. If that was our question, we would say RU is 92, but the question says, can you use the perpendicular bisector theorem to solve for RU? Yes, we can, and that's how we do it. Okay, moving on to the next level. Uh, when we hit kind of like 60 points or so, uh, this is the question form that we are going to get for 60 points. Okay, let me see. The base is cut into equal pieces. FE right here has one tick mark and EH has one tick mark. This just reminds me that the left side of this triangle could be identical to the right side of the triangle and it happens if we have a perpendicular bisector and it looks like we do have a perpendicular bisector because this right here that guy over here is 90 degrees and it cuts the base in two equal pieces if you have a 90 degrees that cuts the base in nine in two equal pieces that's called a perpendicular bisector so which also means that these two sides are going to be the same the left side of the triangle and right side. When you flip, they're go they're gonna go on top of each other. They're gonna be equal. So eight v and v plus fifty six, whatever they are, they are for sure equal. So to get the v by itself, because that's what we are doing, solve it for v. Uh, to get the v by itself, I want to put the v's on the left side by subtracting one v from each side. Eight v minus 1v equals 7v, bring down the equal sign, and bring down the right side. 
to get the v by itself it is multiplied by 7 v divided by 7 so v would be equal to 8 okay let's check the next level out and see if that is something that we we can do this question because it's 75 points okay so we have an angle given two angles actually they're equal to 51 degrees uh, angle D F E angle D F E is right here that's 51 degrees and angle D F G right here this angle over here that's 51 as well change the color that's angle bisector by the way what df does or what fd does it cuts the angle in half because the whole angle is divided into two both pieces are 51 degrees that's why it is called angle bisector uh, de is given 3a dg is a plus 42 Okay, when you have, let me see, DF, okay, DF is the angle bisector, uh, and point D is on the angle bisector. Here is, uh, I'm not sure if this is a theorem or if it was just a definition, but if you have a point on the angle bisector, that point, which is D, point D in this case, is going to be equidistant to the arms of that angle, to the sides of that angle. So the sides of the angle, that's one side of that angle, 51 degrees, and this is the other side of that 51 degrees. So that point D is going to be equidistant to these two green rays, which means, let me pick a color that I haven't used so far. Okay, that would work. This is the first distance because it's 90 degrees and then this right here is the second one equidistant means these two would be equal that one here and this one here would be equal so let's set them up equal 3a plus a plus 42 to get the a by itself we subtract 1a from both sides it would be equal to 2a on the left 42 on the right, divide everything by 2 to get the A by itself, A would be 21. But that's not my question, my question is, what is DE? So let's just rewrite this DE over here. It was equal to 3A, which means 3 times A, 3 times we just figured out that A equals to 21. I plugged it in. Multiply these two. The answer would be 63. So that side or that segment would be 63 units. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please make sure you comment below if you have any questions. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video so that you can get notifications every time I upload a video regarding your homework assignments. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in another video.